I'm fashion editor Christopher Fraser coming to you for Fashion United and I'm here today with Doris Raymond, president of Hi. The Way We Wore based in Los Angeles. Doris, it's been a challenging year for you as it has for so many of us across America and especially in the fashion and retail sector which took a real hit from everything that happened between lockdowns and lootings and not knowing when the world was going to begin to have some semblance of normalcy. So. What was your initial reaction when you learned about COVID and how it was on the rise globally and in the United States? Well, I, my initial reaction was compassion uh, because of the, the victims and not thinking um, that we would have the circumstances that we did in having to shut down for short periods of time. Um, but, you know, I, f I feel I'm generally an optimist, <laughs> mm -hmm. so um, it I knew that things would work out. Now, while a lot of retailers were nervous about COVID and how that would affect their business, your really big hit actually came when your store was looted. Yeah. Talk to me about that and when you came in and saw that very horrific scene. Yeah, uh, I have to say that um, in my 67 and a half years on this planet, the night of the looting was really the most traumatic night of my life. Um, we got a call around 9.30 that the windows had been compromised and for the next three and a half hours I kept getting calls from the um, burglar alarm company letting me know the zones that had been um, broken into. They broke into my office, um, they stole close to 500 items um, and it was ongoing for three and a half hours. There, and the thing that I find really interesting is, you know, even though I was a victim in this circumstance, I know uh, that I'm totally behind the protesters and what they had to say. It was not the protesters, this was organized crime. So did the decline in tourism because travel was very limited, restricted, less flights, people nervous to fly, did that have any effect on your business at all? Totally. Yeah, uh, it, but actually interesting, it was not as much, um, I mean some tourists, but really more the design. Um, design teams. So for example, I can say this now because it was a year ago, we had in the store uh, working with me uh, the design crew from Valentino and wow. at the time they were here they weren't sure they could get back to Italy uh, because things had shut down. Oh yeah, and Europe was very strict about letting people return. Yeah, and so with that in mind, um, there are so many design teams that could not leave Europe, could not leave Australia or New Zealand. Um, and that had an impact on our, our, you know, cash flow, but it's coming back. So, you know, I'm very grateful that I've, that I'm still standing. So what lessons did you get from the last year and a half that you really helped feel improved you as a businesswoman and your business strategy? Generally speaking, um, I don't know if it was, uh, planned or if I'm just a lucky girl. Um, but I had a significant nest egg that I had put aside, um, kind of a tithing for myself, right? And I know that uh, on many levels that that nest egg is really what kept me afloat. I mean, a lot of businesses, so I think that one of the lessons I've learned is to put your money away and not spend it all. <laughs> um, but the other thing is, um, I've always, I'm a dinosaur, and I've always resor uh, resorted to um, analog sales. And I really now have a higher appreciation of digital and the importance of really getting into the 21st century. Well, thank you very much for your time, Doris. And check out The Way We Wore Out in Los Angeles, California. Or our YouTube channel. <laughs> Which is? The Way We Wore. All righty, thank you very much. You guys have a great day.